Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this one, we are going to discuss monetary policy versus fiscal policy. I have decided to do this one because I've seen that new bankers tend to confuse the two. So we will see in this short video what they are. Let us start with fiscal policy. Fiscal policy relates to government expenditure and revenue collection. The state has certain responsibilities towards its citizens and it is not a money generating body by itself. So when it comes to a government to provide benefits like healthcare, education, sanitation, roads and transport and encourage other welfare activities, these things being its expenses, the government uses fiscal policy to move between these motives and decide what their allocation of expense would be. And because it does not generate money on its own, government is a not-for-profit kind of body. It needs money. This is where the revenue collection part comes in. And as you must have guessed, the major tool it deploys in revenue collection is taxes. You've heard of them. Income tax, revenue tax, sales tax, education says, service tax, VAT, etc. These taxes are collected at various central and state level. The annual budget is in a way the government statement of intent as to how it will spend the money in the year to follow and how it plans to generate revenue. The body that handles this, as I've discussed earlier, this fiscal policy is dealt by the government of India and basically the finance ministry. Now let us go to the monetary policy. This policy, as it says here, it pertains to adjusting the supply of money in the economy using various rates of interest. This policy is about controlling the supply of money to ensure growth and stability in a country. There is money in any economic system. At any given time, it is held up in various forms like bank deposits, liquid cash with the public, reserves with banks and companies. This allocation of money alters various situations in an economy like inflation, unemployment, growth, expansion and recession. Like it says here, M1, M2 and M3. These are monetary aggregates of an economy, the forms in which money is held up in a system. I will discuss them in detail in a video to follow. The aim of policymakers with monetary policy is to alter the allocation of money in the system to bring a favorable change in outcomes like inflation and the other ones that I talked of. The tools used are CRR, SLR, uh, which stand for cash reserve ratio and statutory liquidity ratio, respectively. There are others like repo rate, reverse repo rate, marginal standing facility, and open market operations. I will be discussing these in the next video. The body that handles monetary policy is the central bank in our country, that is the Reserve Bank of India. Recall now, if you can, there are comments of the governor of the Reserve Bank about cutting rates or not to curtail inflation. Well, this is it for now. Thank you for watching Project Drona.